Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com and welcome back to another edition of Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours. Today, I'm out here in Conroe, Texas, visiting the Reserve at Sleepy Hollow, which is a brand new community being built out here in Conroe by Cavco and Neighborhood. I'm here checking out some of the model homes that are up already and you have a chance too. So get down here and take a look. But in the meantime, let's take a look at some of this exterior. I am truly digging the exterior of this home. This home is built by Palm Harbor Homes and is from the Fiesta series, known as the Santa Fe. This home is a three bed, two bath, sitting at 1,187 square feet. And the dimensions of this home is a 76 by 16. And this home is for sale, set and delivered right where it's at for about $166,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? Thanks again for joining me today, everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. And if you are in the market for a single wide manufactured home in the Conroe, Texas area, this is the one for you. Like I said, we are at the reserve on Sleepy Hollow and they have a few homes out here to take a look at. So, you know, there's a link in the description below that you can click on. It'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can take a 3D tour, take a look at some more photos, take a look at some more video and see some more homes that are here at the reserve. So click on that and find out more. But just looking at this home already, going through it I'm loving the entertainment center here I love that uh, design it kind of just pops right out of nowhere this home has some really big windows all the way around some great beams up top which is a great design style choice and again of course we have those nine foot ceilings some great crown molding and a great home overall built by Palm Harbor we got cam lights everywhere and remember, this home is already set and ready for you to move right on in. So click on that if you want to take a look at this one. But just walking into the kitchen, it has a good ample amount of space for a single wide because most of the time, single wides are little, cramped. But I really love the style of the Santa Fe. I mean, just take a look at that sink. That is a beautiful black farmhouse style sink I like that and in this home we have a stainless steel package and I'm loving that range hood right there I mean look at that good ample space throughout this whole home loving that backsplash big windows big windows and right here you can see your neighbor that's how far your neighbor is so just throwing it out there and we have an island in this home which has a pop-up power um, unit right there and big big drawers for everything that you need. Nice. A good amount of space within the unit here. Not too shabby. I'm taking those countertops. I like that black design. What do you guys think about that black design? Because most of the time, you know, you see them light, they're bright, they're woody. What do you think of that? Let me know. Let me know. Loving this home. So let's take a moment and look throughout some of the storage availability in this kitchen. I'm loving those lights above that island. What do you guys think? I'm digging that. And then take a look, is that a wine rack right there on the side of the island? Ah, that's nice. 
the size of this living room is uh, like uh, 12 feet by 14 feet, which gives you a good amount of room for a living room space and a single wide, which I'm digging. Now heading back towards the uh, some of the guest rooms here, you'll see right here, your air conditioning unit is right there. One thing I did notice though, all the registers were up in the ceiling on this home, which is always a great thing. You know, depending on where you're living, where you're at, you know, colder areas you'd want more so on the floor because of the convection airflow and things like that, which one day we'll touch on on this channel. Now, the laundry room is pretty much right down the hallway here, which is not too shabby, but let's go into our first uh, guest room. Now, this is a three bed, and this one right here is eight feet by nine feet. Well, actually, technically, it's eight feet, 11 inches by nine feet, three inches. It has a nice little uh, closet there. We're gonna take a glance at it right now. More like a coat closet in this guy. I mean, depending on your needs, I personally would use this room as like an office, you know what I mean? So I wouldn't feel cramped about, you know, with anything there. Um, your laundry room is right down the hallway. Um, some people are okay with that, some people aren't. Let me know what you guys think. Now we're in the second bedroom. Now this second bedroom is just a little bigger with an 8 feet 9 inches by 12 feet 2 inches. This has a little bigger of a closet. We're going to check out in a second here. Let's spin around and take a look at the hot water heater. Heater access is right there. Almost hidden. Too bad. Let's go take a look at our guest bathroom here. This unit is a little dark in the bathroom because we don't have any lights on so far, but from what I see, this is really nice. It's got a single vanity, good, basic construction. You have a regular sized um, shower tub combo, not too bad. If you want to see some more home tours and follow along on this journey, hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell. And when you do that, you'll always be alerted to when a new home tour is posted and you'll be able to catch up to where is well. I mean, just take a look at this, you know, whole living room and kitchen area. I mean, this one flows. It's, it's a really big open floor plan, but the way it's built, it seems to flow better than some of the other, you know, single wides that I've been in in, in my time. Um, and now we're going into the primary room right here. And the primary is 11 feet 3 inches by 14 feet 10 inches. I'm loving the accent wall. It has like a, uh, an optional entertainment center right there in the middle, which I dig uh, because I already, if I have that, I know where I'm going to put my bed because then it's all just kind of self-included. Nice walk-in closet we're going to take a look at in a second right now. Pretty big on size here. It's a nice one. Three wooden shelves. Pulls for your hangers. I like that accent wall, I really do. I like that color. Now we're going into the primary bath here. Now we have dual vanities good couple of great mirrors. We have an elongated toilet there, of course, some, uh, some cabinets above the toilet, so you can keep some of your toiletries in there. And we got this nice, nice shower here. This is a hand-laid tiled shower with a shower rain head. Those seem to be very popular lately. I don't know, I don't know if you guys have caught on to that or not, but they seem to be everywhere lately. I love that walk-in. You don't have to worry about curtain rods or anything else like that. I'm digging that. This is a nice home. Rather nice. 
Well, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this home tour of the Santa Fe uh, built by Palm Harbor Homes. This is in Conroe, Texas at the Reserve on Sleepy Hollow. There's a link down there in the description if you want to find out more about it or see any of these homes in person. Um, thank you again for joining me. I truly appreciate it. we got some more cool stuff coming. Keep your eyes out, and uh, we'll see you next time. Just remember to live smarter, choose manufactured, have a wonderful day, and travel easy.